What's up guys, I'm Dan. And I'm Danny. And we're back with another craft beer review, not seltzer. Mm -hmm. What are we working with guys? This is a brand new offering from Bell's Brewery in Comstock, Michigan. This is Incessant, a double New England style IPA guys. Um, I don't know anything about it. This just came into the store last Wednesday. We have sold like two or three cases of this. This was like the last one that we had. It was sitting in my fridge. <laughs> Um, our fridge. Yeah. So on the bottom, this was packaged on 5420. Today is 529. Mm -hmm. So super fresh, under a month, guys. Uh, you you got to have it under a month if you're having a New England style, let's be honest. We know that changes over time really quickly. Um, yeah, 16 ounce can. I really like the packaging. It's super solid. And Bell's has never done a New England style other than um side yard which is was it was never thrown in distribution it was given to steve steve gave me one that was awesome it was literally like trillium it was like um who's what's my favorite treehouse it was like a treehouse beer um super crushable but this bad boy is eight and a half percent and super fresh let's see what we got English. And we've obviously never had it so let's check it out coming out okay okay Obviously, official is what they're known for. We sell a lot of official. I mean, I like that, that's like one of their best-selling beers, honestly. I smell citrus in tropical fruit already coming out. Going to the yeah, good news. appearance, it does. Um, super frothy, fluffy head. Looks like it's dissipating at 8.5%. Pretty cloudy. It's not like the, the haziest beer yeah. I've ever seen, but Bell's isn't notoriously known for doing the super it's haze. Darker. It's like a... Um, Kind of like a yellow, orange, sunset, orange. Actually, more straw yellow, I would think, actually. Hazier than official. It's definitely hazier than official, but it should be with 8.5% and double New England style. Um, the head is going away, like I said. What are you getting out of it? You probably can get a nose before I can. I have this too mm -hmm. thick of a head. I can already smell bursts of, of tropical fruit. Yeah, definitely citrus. Almost has like... Oh, it has a nice nose. Not, almost like a mm, straw scent. Grassy? Yeah. Feeling grassy, earthiness. Has a nice kind of mm -hmm. doughy breadiness, if you ask yeah. me. Like, um, it's definitely, like what's that? Like toaster. Oh, nice. <laughs> <clears throat> it smells maltier than I'd imagine, yeah. I guess, but it, maybe not. I mean, there's there's probably a lot of malt driven into this. Um, definitely an earthy grassiness. Um, Probably a little bit of pineapple, mangoes, some peaches, some lemon. Maybe a little like like uh, pithiness, um, yeah, like um, tartness on kind of in there. Not like a passion fruit, but something like a grapefruit. Mm -hmm. It's all there. I mean, it smells it smells good. It has a hint of juiciness. Smells a little bit creamy. Um, smells really nice. A little bit of malt forwardness. Um, let's see what it's like. Don't know the IBUs, but it's eight and a half percent. Cheers, bells. definitely overripe super overripe and it's malt it is maltier than i expected um there's a big juicy com component in it mm -hmm. um i do get like a lot of peach juice i get a lot of um over overripe mango papaya even yeah i think papaya is a good one yeah. actually yeah. papaya is like you know when danny boy's cutting that up in the back mm -hmm. it smells like over like rotting papayas yeah um great dash of grapefruit piff there's juiciness, there's a little bit of creaminess in it. It has like a bitterness. But it's it's definitely super overripe. Overripe. It, the, the sweetness is a little bit high. I wish there was a little bit more uh, balance in this beer. Mm -hmm. It's super sweet, doughy, bready on the front end. It kind of uh, sticks around the whole way and then it goes into this overripe tropical fruit it's bonanza. Like thick. It is. It's it's viscous. It's um it, it's herbally. It's uh it's got a little bit of like a hot bite to it, but it's, it's, it is, it's just not, um, yeah. herbally. That's good. It's not balanced. It's just mm -hmm. not balanced. It's a little bit over the top. I was hoping bells would reel it in a little bit at the end there, but bitterness is there, but it's not quite dry enough. It's not, it's not quite, um, um, crushable on the back. No, enough. the drinkability is not there for me. Yeah. I don't know. That back end just doesn't mesh well with, with, um, the flavors. I couldn't, I couldn't drink one alone. No, and I probably wouldn't 
myself either. I was hoping Bells would deliver a little bit more of, mm -hmm. a, of a balanced beer. The maltiness is a little bit heavy. Again, it's like viscous, thick. Um, tons of overripe uh, peach and, and, and papaya or, or what I'm getting, just words coming to mind. There's this herbally grassiness mm -hmm. in it, um, but the finish is not where I'd like it. It doesn't sound like it's where you'd like no. it either. It's like the, <clears throat> yeah, the overripe cantaloupe, like just like yep. the... That melon peachiness, mm -hmm. definitely it's in there. And it's, and it's almost like, it's almost too overripe. So it actually brings like a funkiness to the beer that doesn't flow mm -hmm. well. Um, I, hate to, I hate to knock bells, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is like uh, a beer that I would expect from them per se, because they usually do a hell of a job. But um, I, yeah, for this one, it's a little bit of a miss for me. Not quite there. Yeah. Super overripe, just and that bready, malty, sweet, honey mm -hmm. thing on the front end, just sweetness all the way through. Not balanced on that back end. What are you going for rating? Um, <clears throat> just because it's not really drinkable. Mm -hmm. Definitely <clears throat> like the overripe uh, fruit just kind of overpowered mm -hmm. for me. I'd probably do like a. Uh, Three, 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 three. Five. Okay, that's harsh. Um, <clears throat> for me, yeah, not not the greatest offering from Bells. I would go around three seven, three six five, something like that. Um, it's Bells. I'm, I'm going to be partial, I guess. Three seven or five. Um, not their best work, and uh, you know, hey, they gave it a shot. It sold really well. They have a great name. Mm -hmm. um, good quality probably in here. I just just doesn't quite get there for me. So three seven out of five, three three out of five. It's been another fun one, guys. This has been another beer review. I'm Dan, and I'm Danny, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Cheers. Bye.